Identifying carers is crucially important because often they don't realise they are carers. Um, a lot of husbands, wives, children, they look after somebody who's got sometimes quite complex needs, but because they're family, they just assume that's their role. So somehow actually getting them to realise that they have needs, physical, emotional, psychological needs as well, is, is crucially important. My husband Robert was diagnosed with MS in January 1998. It was a slow progression to start with, but of course at that time I didn't consider myself to be a carer and just put it on the back burner. And it was only later when I was starting to struggle with what, with, with day to day life. You're juggling with what you have to do for the person that you're caring for, what you need to do for the rest of your family, what you need to do for yourself, and you're torn in all sorts of different directions. The fact that my GP surgery, my GP has got time to listen to me, because when you're looking after somebody else, you tend to forget about yourself. Um, we recognise that we all need to be aware if somebody is a carer, they have specific needs. So, if a patient has told us that they're a carer, the moment that person um, is contacts the surgery, it will be on their front page to say, this person is a carer. So they're simple things that can be really effective. My surgery has been a real support to me and my family. I was identified, I think, as being a carer because of all the visits with Rob, and they've helped me to keep well, to look after Rob. If someone's a carer and they haven't seen a GP surgery or don't know where to go, there really is help out there. I think the problem is often they just assume the role. Um, and because everybody is spending time talking about the person they're caring for, they can so easily be forgotten. So they need to come forward, they don't they should never feel guilty, they need to ask for help because help is there. Going back to 1998, when Robert was first diagnosed with his illness, I think I should have gone to the doctors then and said, this is what's happened to my husband, this is what he's been diagnosed with. I, I don't know what the future's going to hold for me, because actually that puts you, that highlights you that you're probably going to be a carer in the future and they will know what to look out for. And I think the sooner that you identify yourself to people that need to know the better really.